Good Thursday morning, everyone. Welcome back to Weather on the Go, all your weather coverage. In today's video, I'll be tracking a snowstorm and ice storm across the Northeast today through this weekend, as well as a very cold plunge of temperatures across the middle and eastern two thirds of the country going into next week and especially next weekend as well. And what that means for your white Christmas chances and could we see any snowfall going into Christmas time frame? All that and much more coming up here in this video. If you guys are new to the channel and have not yet subscribed hit the subscribe button down the below and the notification bell it's all free to do and you get all of my exclusive daily weather forecast updates here on this channel i cover canada the united states and the tropics so hit that subscribe button everyone and the notification bell to get all of my daily weather forecast updates here on this channel looking at the water vapor imagery this morning very impressive upper level low still responsible for all that heavy snow across the upper midwest and northern plains the last couple of days and that severe weather across the gulf coast that's still spinning up here across the upper midwest sending that strong cold front across the eastern side of the country here through the day today that will be moving a little farther to the east as we head in through the day today as we have more impacts across the northeast and the east coast as well but looking back to yesterday yes lots of severe weather reports across the immediate gulf coast and the southeast we had 26 tornado reports spread out across louisiana mississippi southern alabama and northwest florida 12 of those being wind reports for a total of 38 total severe weather reports here from yesterday so a very violent day for severe weather across those areas and that'll be pushing its way a little bit farther to the east here and putting an end to that multi-day severe weather outbreak as we head into later on today. So looking here at the uh, radar of what we see across these areas here today just some showers and storms moving through parts of Georgia, South Carolina and through north central Florida here. Some of these could be producing some damaging winds, some large hail and maybe an isolated tornado or two that will be moving through during the morning hours today going into the early afternoon and then finally that cold front will sweep across portions of Florida and off the coastal Carolinas into western Atlantic Ocean and we'll be putting an end to that multi-day severe weather outbreak across those areas and especially like I said going into the overnight hours again some of these thunderstorms will be clearing out with that cold front but looking back up to the north here we had all that snowfall the past 72 hours across the northern plains here where we have all those purples maroon reds and even those orange shaded colors that's where we saw over six inches and even over a foot of snow here across much of the Dakotas, getting into northern Minnesota, getting back down here into western Nebraska and the Colorado Rockies. And looking at this closer in view, we had a lot of reports coming in of over 12 inches of snow across North Dakota, South Dakota, and much of western Nebraska, even some areas achieving almost two feet of snowfall across portions of southern South Dakota, getting into far northwestern Nebraska. So definitely lots of snowpack across these areas. We're going to be adding to some of that snow over the next here several hours today as it pushes off to the east across much more of Minnesota the eastern Dakotas and in through the upper Midwest here into portions of Wisconsin and the Great Lakes into northern Michigan as well. With those winter weather advisories and those winter storm warnings, we still do have those blizzard warnings across South Dakota and northwestern Nebraska. Do watch out for some uh, blowing and drifting snow through the day today across those areas on the backside of that system. But looking here across those areas, getting into Minnesota, the eastern Dakotas, getting back across Iowa there and eventually Wisconsin, we'll see that steady snow shield start to push its way off to the east northeast through the afternoon today and that's going to be providing another th uh, threat for some accumulating snow through the twin cities getting through much of wisconsin especially northern and central wisconsin through the next 24 hours a lot of these areas will be averaging anywhere from six to ten inches of snow so definitely some nice snowfall across these areas getting those shovels out and the snow blowers out here after the system does move through but as we go into the northeast we got another snow system that we're going to be watching also with some ice as well we got those purple shaded areas into southwestern Pennsylvania getting down through West Virginia and northern Virginia and parts of Maryland. That is an ice storm warning where we could be seeing over a quarter of an inch of ice. We have those uh, purple shaded areas with those winter weather advisories and these pink shaded areas with the winter storm warnings where we could be seeing some significant snowfall as we head through the next couple of days going into this weekend. We got that strong subtropical jet here across the southern United States lifting up across the east coast 
And we're going to be seeing a renewed area of low pressure just off the coast here of the northeast. And that's going to be providing all that cold air to start be uh, start moving southward around the backside of that low pressure system, providing for that snowfall threat and the ice threat as we head into the northeast here as we head into today and this weekend. So looking here, starting this event this afternoon, we got some icing potential here with some freezing rain and sleet across especially those ice storm warning areas into southwestern Pennsylvania, getting into West Virginia, Maryland in northern Virginia. We also have some heavier snow starting to break out across east central Pennsylvania, getting up into western New York. That will spread its way a little bit farther to the northeast here as we head into the evening hour, starting to turn more over to snowfall here than those icing potentials later on today. And then that snow shield will start to push its way off to farther to the north and east into upstate New York, portions there of Vermont, New Hampshire, and western Massachusetts going into the Friday morning time frame. And then again, as we get into Friday night into Saturday, we're going to start to see some heavier snow spreading up here into Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire, upstate New York, and maybe even central and western Massachusetts as well. So we'll be continuing to watch that. Looks like Boston, Massachusetts getting down through the I-95 corridor toward New York City for the most part will remain liquid precipitation but every once in a while we could be seeing some snowflakes starting to fly around those areas mixing with that rain at times so we'll watch that and then that will continue into the day on Saturday across portions especially of interior New England from Maine getting into portions of Vermont New Hampshire New York and again into southeastern Canada as well but like I said looking at the temperatures in the low 30s across those areas down the spine of the Appalachians and into portions of Pennsylvania West Virginia Northern Virginia and Maryland we're going to be watching out for that icing potential with those ice storm warnings, we could see ice accumulations over a quarter of an inch and perhaps up to around a half an inch of ice across southern and southwestern Pennsylvania and then down the spine of the Appalachians there into portions of Virginia, West Virginia, and Western Maryland. So that will be something to watch. Travel is not advised across those areas, especially with all those slippery roadways with that icing. But then we have the snowfall threat as well. We have several inches of snow on the way across portions of northeastern Pennsylvania, much of New York State, getting up into western Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire, and into Maine, and even across southeastern Canada for portions of southeastern Ontario, southern Quebec. We could be talking about several inches of snow potentially some areas reaching up to near a foot of snowfall here through the next couple of days going into this upcoming weekend. If you guys are still here with me on this video, hit the like button down below. If you guys enjoy this weather content so far, definitely helps out to get this information out to more and more people. So I appreciate that. Um, but looking here at the longer range weather forecast here going into next week, we have that NAO or that North American Oscillation here that's going to be remaining at neutral here, but we also do have the PNA, the PNA, the Pacific North American, that's going to be trending neutral the next couple of days and then eventually here slightly positive, and that's going to be forcing all that cold air farther south, especially when combined with that AO, the Arctic Oscillation, that's going to be going very negative here through the end of December and probably even into early January as well, and that's going to mean all that cold air is going to start dropping southward into the east and two-thirds of the United States. And with that, P uh, that positive PNA across California, getting into Nevada here, into the West Coast, we're going to force all of that cold air farther south with that polar vortex going through Christmas Eve into the eastern two-thirds of the United States with likely much below normal temperatures. And that does have staying power going all the way through much of the majority of the rest of December and probably even into early January as well with those likely below normal temperatures here, if not much below normal normal temperatures as we get here into the eastern two-thirds of the country going through December 28th. And then that positive PNA showing up across California and the desert southwest and even the west coast. That's going to mean above normal temperatures across California, Nevada, getting into Oregon, across portions of southwestern Utah and Arizona as well. And looking at this polar vortex here farther to the north, all that cold air is going to be bottled up across northwestern Canada going through this weekend. We still do have some colder air, cold enough for that icing and also that snowfall potential across the upper Great Lakes and the northeast. But the real cold air is starting to plunge southward as we get into early Early next week on your Monday, December 19th, that'll be arriving across the southern Canadian provinces from British Columbia to Alberta to Saskatchewan and Manitoba and even the far northern United States as we get into that Monday time frame next week and then really starting to plunge down all the way to the Gulf Coast and into Texas and portions of Florida as we head into late next week on Thursday, December 22nd and Friday, December 23rd and even beyond and that's that polar vortex here releasing all that cold air into the center of the country. Look 
looking at your temperatures going through the weekend here on Saturday, December 17th, high temperatures again, pretty much average around much of the northern and central United States here with the 20s out there. Some below average temperatures can be found here with that heavier snowpack across the Dakotas and into southern Canada there on Saturday. But going into early next week on Monday, December 19th, all that cold air will start moving its way to the south across the northern plains and southern Canada. That's where we're going to start to see below zero high temperatures across North Dakota, South Dakota, getting into Montana and Minnesota, and all those below normal temperatures here with those uh, negative temperatures into the southern Canadian provinces there as well. Still relatively mild across the southeast and the southern plains on Monday, but that won't last long because look at guys, as we get into Monday night, we're going to be seeing those temperatures crashing and look at the wind chills here uh, down to 20 below across the Dakotas, 25 to 30 below across southern portions of Canada, but like I said, that won't last long here with the mild air to the south because as we get into late next week on Thursday, December 22nd and Friday, December 23rd, these are your high temperatures out there, double digit below zero high temperatures through much of the upper Midwest, the northern plains and all of southern Canada here, and even look at this guys, teens for highs across north Texas, getting across Arkansas, uh, Oklahoma into the western Tennessee Valley here, and all of those milder temperatures being suppressed farther south towards Florida and the immediate southeast late next week. And look at these dangerous wind chills, guys, going into Thursday, December 22nd, and probably even a couple of days beyond this. We're going to be seeing wind chills dropping down here to near zero across North Texas here even below zero in the single digits below zero across the panhandle of Texas through Oklahoma and in North Arkansas but farther to the north very dangerous here wind chills across the Dakotas, Minnesota, Iowa getting back into Montana, eastern Wyoming and much of southern Canada there wind chills at least of 30 below if not 40 even 50 below zero wind chills across those areas I do expect wind, uh, wind chill advisories and wind chill warnings as we get a little bit uh, closer to this event. And looking at this, this is pretty dangerous because you can get frostbite in 10 or even 5 minutes with these very cold wind chills of 40, 50, and even 60 below. So definitely something to watch as we get closer to that time frame here as that polar vortex moves farther south. But what about the snowfall, guys? We were talking about this for a couple of days and how this track of the this, this storm track here is going to be moving farther to the south. We got that polar flow with the polar jet stream pulling down to the central United States going into late next week here just a few days before Christmas time and then really tightening up with a negatively tilted trough perhaps across the mid-Atlantic and the northeast bringing a powerful storm system potentially across those areas just a couple of days before Christmas on Friday December 23rd and again this is a pretty strong uh, signal here this is almost a perfect setup here for a winter storm and a strong winter storm at that as we get towards that Christmas time frame because we have that blocking pattern up to the north across places here in northeastern Canada into Greenland with that high pressure system. We got the low pressure system underneath and then we also have that positive PNA across the west coast and the Pacific Southwest as well and that's going to just force a strong a strong storm system across the eastern side of the country as we get into late next week and it looks like here we have a stronger clipper system dropping out of Canada across the northern plains and the upper Midwest here as well during that Christmas week here from mid to late week. We also have some above normal percent precipitation here across the northeast as well. But again, with that positive PNA, we have a lot of drier than normal conditions across California, the desert southwest and going through the southern plains and perhaps the Tennessee Valley leading up to Christmas Eve there. And looking here at the uh, clipper system dropping down through the Dakotas, getting into the northern plains and upper Midwest, going into the middle of next week on Wednesday, December 21st to start the first day of winter. We could see, have, uh, you know, have a few inches of snowfall flying around across these areas here and accumulating because of all that cold air. It'll be sticking fairly easily with that snowfall that will track its way to the east. Maybe some heavier snowfall here to places that haven't seen snowfall so far this year, places like uh, Milwaukee, uh, Chicago, across portions of Indianapolis, Detroit. Some of these areas might see some heavier snowfall potentially going into that Thursday time frame next week, and then even a stronger low pressure system here. This is, could be pretty intense. The European forecast guidance is actually hinting at a 963 millibar low pressure system across the northeast and mid-Atlantic going into Friday, December 23rd. We'll be fine-tuning this, but some very heavy snowfall on the backside, a very powerful cold front here on the leading edge of the system. 
And that could be dropping lots of snow before moving to the northeast into southeastern Canada in towards that Christmas Eve and Christmas Day time frame. Looking at the first, that clipper system that could be dropping down across the upper Midwest and the Great Lakes during that time frame here late next week into that Thursday, Friday time frame could be several inches of accumulation across places that haven't seen a lot of snow here this season across portions of Iowa, northeastern Missouri, Illinois, getting into northern and central Indiana, Michigan, southern Wisconsin here. And then again, maybe another clipper system moving in across the Pacific Northwest into those higher elevations on the, uh, behind that system. But then, like I showed you, that possible 963 millibar low potential across the northeast and mid-Atlantic could be providing us with a very powerful winter storm going into the Christmas Eve time frame across much of New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, and even Massachusetts as well, extending down the Appalachian chain there toward West Virginia and Virginia, and then back into eastern Ohio as well, and that could even be moving back towards portions there of Toronto, getting into southern Ontario, southwestern Quebec, going toward Christmas Eve time frame. And looking here at the snow depth of what snowfall could be on the ground as we go through the day on Christmas Day itself and who could see a white Christmas, it really looks promising across the northern plains with that snowpack right now and across the upper Midwest and the Northeast. But it also looks pretty promising as well for the Illinois Valley, the Ohio Valley, and parts of the Southeast potentially as we get here towards that Christmas Eve, Christmas Day time frame. We're not expecting a white Christmas across the Southwest with that positive PNA bringing all those warmer temperatures just to uh, no snowfall there. We're not really expecting too much snowfall across Texas or the desert southwest or really the immediate Gulf Coast either, so it doesn't appear to be a white Christmas for you guys this year, uh, but we'll be fine-tuning this as we get a little bit closer here towards that Christmas time frame. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to like the video down below by pressing that thumbs up button. Leave any comments, questions, and concerns below. Get to those later on today and subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to get all of my daily weather forecast updates here on this channel. Have a great Thursday, everyone, a great rest of your week, and I will see you all in the next video.